Okay, hello guys. Aloha from Maui. This is the first update on running based motor oil in the diesel engine. I purchased this 91 F250 XLT diesel Ford for trying or researching how we'll be using waste motor oil in the diesel. I work as mechanic so I have basically for myself unlimited amount of the waste motor oil for, for this diesel engine. So I want to find out how it will work. The first stage what I did, because I don't know really how to filter it yet, I collected from the bottoms of the cans the clean motor oil clean remainings of the transmission oil it was the normal oils there was a little bit of synthetic oil and I just kept collecting these drops until I had like five gallons of it it was all clean didn't need to filter and I pour it in this baby as you can see in previous video this truck has a 150 miles on it it did start always on the first click of the starter it, it will be sitting here for a three five days it didn't matter it will start immediately on the first click so that was running perfectly must have a great uh, compression why it's a good truck for these experiments it has two tanks so you can keep in the rear tank for example you can keep all your waste motor oil mixed with the diesel uh, approximately 50-50 and you can keep here the normal diesel to just clean up before you are shutting off the engine if that's the case what you want to do it has a nice switch on the dash as you can see right now it's on the rear tank uh, the fuel gauge changes when you flip the switch it will show you what is in the front or what is in the back so it's ideal definitely ideal in the case you want to have both you don't have to add any additional tanks and pumps and all that system because it's already included in the in the deal now what I did and what is that first experience I want to share with you is that I put only that clean one, I didn't mix it with any used one, filter used one and I put it in the tank, on the rear tank I started it up, drew, drove it through the neighborhood, drove it around and I didn't see any difference whatsoever out of the exhaust the car was running absolutely the same maybe a little quieter but I cannot warranty, maybe I'm just making it up because I heard that they run quieter, I cannot really say. And the exhaust was perfectly no smoke whatsoever as the car came. Now I filtered somehow another gallon and half of the used oil and I added to it still keeping the mixture approximately uh, 40 of the used oil and the 60 of the biodiesel I'm running biodiesel in it and the car started smoking most importantly it started not starting it, it began not starting the same way like it was before it was first click and now it takes a couple of seconds to start the truck so I will show you how it changed before once again it was first click of starter even sitting after a while and the exhaust was basically pretty much invisible yeah that there wasn't any smoke now I will show you what it does when we have that waste oil in it and uh, it was basically sitting through the night I didn't start it this morning and you will see how the exhaust uh, looks after that and what is the, the, the time period to, to get it started so I'm turning it on trying to pull the camera outside
as you see it's a gigantic difference the engine I had to crank it for like what five six seconds that's not the first click like it was before it was before it was really quick it will be the quarter half second and the engine was running after even sitting for a while and now you see what's happening what it was five seconds look all that smoke so this is basically how everything changes there is the guy I saw on YouTube who complains how he put it in his old Volvo and he can't start it and how he will never recommend I will still recommend it however don't do these things with some diesel engine which is right before dying because then of course it doesn't want to start right so this is my experience so far after only a couple hundred of miles and I will update you after I will have a longer experience I will run more tanks on it and we will see what the difference is the last thing just to explain is why you cannot run the oil only why you have to mix it with the diesel now that was basically answered when I was having it in the bucket and I was mixing together because the oil itself it's too thick and when you mix it with the biodiesel or normal diesel and they mix pretty well they don't separate they really mix and make a nice uh, uniform mixture of the fuel it gets way thinner and therefore the engine and the, the injection pump can run it I guess that's the, the main reason the, the oil itself even when it's filtered it's uh, extremely thick and that will probably not work out so this is my experience so far you see all that smoke my wife hates it when I started here she just closed all the windows and everything I understand so this is for now and I will run that mixtures like 40 60% with the diesel for a while and then I will let you know if the engine has some problems or what's happening with it okay so that's uh, aloha from Hawaii to all of you okay have a nice day